What's up guys, welcome back to today's video where we are vlogging, we are in Toronto. Good old Toronto, I am taking you guys to the Eaton Centre. We are gonna get some serious TL shopping done today. I'm just waiting for this elevator, it cannot come fast enough. First, I'm thinking we need a glass of wine, like pronto, get nice and loosey-goosey, and then we are gonna go shopping up a storm. I'm definitely looking for some sneakers, I need some pants, maybe a jacket, a shirt. Literally, my list is like so long. All right, the elevator's here. I don't know, I'm just so excited to get out there, see what I can find. But the world is a mystery. The Eaton Center is my oyster and I'm ready to shuck it up. We're staying here at the Grand Hotel in Toronto. It's one of my favorite hotels to stay in. I absolutely love it. All right, ooh. Oh, you guys, it looks like it is about to start pouring outside. Ay, 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 here we go. See ya. I don't know, but let's go on an adventure. Ooh, it's starting to rain already, you guys. All right, first stop somewhere with shelter. This rain is no big deal. I can handle this, guys. All right, my OOTD today, my outfit of the day, is this black jacket that I got from Zara. I've got a simple H&M white t-shirt on, and I believe that these camo pants are from H&M as well. Should definitely check before I cross the street. Don't wanna lose my life away on vacation. I hope that I see a rainbow with all this. Oh, it is really pouring, guys. I've just got to stop. I have to stop under the shelter. I wish you guys could smell it right now. It's Okay, first of all, it's literally still pouring on my head, but the smell is kind of amazing. It smells like that really hot, wet cement when it starts to rain in the middle of the summer. All right, you guys, this is crazy. I'm gonna start to jog. Whoa! How is everything so wet? All right, life just throws you curves balls. Oh, look. You know what guys, sometimes life just throws you curveballs and raindrops and you've just got to roll with the punches. So we're dipping it, we're doing it, and we are almost at the Eat Center. Alright guys, we have made it to the Eat Center. I am soaking wet. It's actually like a torrential downpour. I don't know if you guys can see it up there on the roof. Whew! Alright, I'm breathless from running. All right, where do we even begin, you guys? I think I'm just gonna head to the top floor first, and then we'll work our way downwards, and hopefully let the magic ensue. I'm totally just gonna walk around and vlog with you guys. Arm up, loud and proud. I'm in a big city, no one gives a whatever. First, I need to find a glass of wine. So let's do that, and I'll check in shortly. I wish that you guys could hear the acoustics in here with all of the rain. It sounds so cool. I wouldn't be surprised if it starts to thunder, or lightning, scary. All right guys, we found the perfect cocktail to kill some time before we go shopping. Some kind of gin and ginger beer basil concoction. I must admit that I don't drink very often, so this one drink is probably gonna hit me good. We are at a restaurant and for the life of me, I can't find the name anywhere. Um, but I mean, a cocktail is all I need. We're at a restaurant inside the Eden Center. We're gonna leave here and then we're gonna keep going shopping. So let's do it. Guys, this is Zara is a total disaster. It looks like H&M. Looks like a bomb exploded. I don't know if this is Labor Day sales or back to school or what is going on, but this is a total disaster. Okay, so total plans have changed. We have left Zara because it looked like it was a preschool kindergarten full of children on meth we just ran through there and like chewed up all the clothes. Literally can't believe what I just saw. That was a disaster. So we're gonna find a new store and new goodies and the search prevails. All 
I'm so disappointed you guys. I am in the shopping mood. I've been in like six stores so far and I can't find a single thing to buy. Is this real life? It's in the Nike store, no shoes. In Sport Check, no shoes. All these shoe stores, no freaking shoes. There is a nothing. Why is nothing calling my, ooh, one sec, let's look in here. Well, that was short-lived. I just walked in the Skechers store for whatever reason. Do people even wear Skechers anymore? No one said hello to me, no one tried to help me, so goodbye Skechers, terrible choice anyway. I'm just gonna keep on walking. Steve Madden over there, maybe we'll pop in there. Gotta find some shoes somewhere, you guys. Literally, no jackets, no pants, nothing. What kind of curse is this? Also, you guys, I can't help but feel that today was International Wear Your Leather Jacket Day because I am one of a thousand people wearing a leather jacket today. And we all look the same. This is not good. I need a new jacket immediately. You know what you guys, this is why they say retail is a dying breed. No one's gonna come to the mall anymore. Who shops in the mall? You are so limited in all of your options. Not only are you limited in price, but you're also limited in what's available. The world of online is just so much bigger and the more you shop online, the more you start to realize that, that the malls are just so antiquated, so old. I feel like I'm in a museum. It's literally nothing. Totally gonna pretend to pop into the Gap right now. I don't even know if people still wear Gap anymore, but I thought they went out of style for business years ago. They definitely went out of business where I'm from. Just as I suspected, you guys, nobody shops at the Gap anymore. There is a no clothes in there. They are trendy in like 1995. They haven't updated their store literally in so many years. I don't know where else to go in this mall, you guys. I'm just gonna keep wandering around. Let's check out Sport Check. Let's go down this escalator and see where we're going. Oh, you know what? I think I already went to Sport Check. How did I get down here? Oh no, you guys, this is the food court and it smells delicious. You guys, look at all these delicious treats. Just keep walking, Trevor. Just keep walking. All right, let's check out Sport Check, guys. There's got to be some shoes in there. Let's take a look. Guys, shoes are having a really tough time right now. They are really down in the dumps. I can't find any training shoes anywhere. All of the running shoes are really cool, really innovative, look really fresh and like new, but all of the training shoes are just ugh, old and ugly. And I just can't find any that I like. All right, the hunt continues. Literally found my home at Nordstrom's. It is so much better than Sephora. The name brands are so much better. I'm just gonna have to talk really, really fast and talk over this music so we don't get any copyright strikes. But let me tell you that Nordstrom is a thousand times better than Sephora. I found my home away from home. Let's hope we can find something here. Thank you. You guys. Literally just went shopping in Urban Outfitters, which you think would be cool and trendy. I feel like I was shopping in a barn. It smelled like a barn, it smelled like wood. I actually think there was wood chips on the floor. The clothing was ridiculous. This was the worst shopping experience ever, you guys. So much for a shop vlog with me, or like be depressed with me. I am going back to the hotel, turning the corner. At least the sun came out and stopped raining. But guys, this was literally the worst shopping trip of my life. I went so prepared, I've been so prepared, I had a list, I knew exactly what I wanted. Do you think I found one thing? No, literally not one thing. Everyone around me is like, who is that guy talking to? I'm talking to all of you guys, duh. And if people don't, if people care, screw them. I don't know you guys, this was a bust of a shopping trip. Don't worry, I still have a lot more time left in Toronto, so I will find some goodies. I was really hoping to film a shopping haul for you guys, but like, I guess right now this is an anti-haul or all the things I didn't buy. I don't even know where I'm going. I think at this point I'm lost. Lost in despair. I don't even care. If I turn around, let's see what the lighting looks like. Ooh! 
Never mind, that was, oh, that burned my eyes, you guys. The things you do. Like always, guys, I love vlogging for you. If you haven't already checked out my entire vlog of the first half of the trip, make sure you check that out in part one. The second half will be in part two. I'm not sure if this will be sandwiched in between or at the end, but there's some amazing stuff to come, including the Lady Gaga concert. So if you haven't checked out those vlogs, I will link them all down below. But like I said, I love vlogging for you guys. And until the next video, you can always keep up with me on Instagram, Snapchat, and Twitter. Until the next video, guys, I'll see you then.